hello team and welcome back to the channel so as you know i try to give you real time scenarios so most of my videos are based on that which helps you to understand how things happen from devops point of view in real time companies okay so you can appreciate my content and hard work by simply subscribing also we are very close to 15000 subscribers so please help me reach that coming back to one more thing team so i have my own course paid course running for like the course duration is 2 month and my focus as i say i always try to give you real time scenarios real time experience so in most one of the highlights of my paid course is that corporate projects so in module 14 basically i am going to give you six plus corporate level project with diagrams with their architecture how they were built and deployed okay and what was my role as a devops engineer so this will help you understand how things happen in corporate and i'm sure like this this understanding of corporate level projects will help you qualify for interview as well okay so if you are interested you can just register to it link will will be in the description one more thing team so i have my own telegram channel which is the only telegram channel that is completely open that means it is 100% many to many and anyone can send messages so if you are facing any issue doubt or if you are if you have, if you need any guidance from me you can join the telegram channel put your question here as well as i am reviewing resumes also so if you want your resume to be reviewed you can just send it here as of now i have like 15 or 20 resumes to be reviewed in queue so yeah if you want you can put your resume also coming back team so today what we are going to cover is automating different task with python scripts and in here i am going to show you one of some of the best task or like most commonly used task that is being used on regular basis in any corporate companies for example how to send uh, email notifications through python scripts okay so yeah we will be starting with that thing so yeah also one more thing team what like whatever i teach you complete documentation i put it on uh, uh, github for free so you can just go through them you can see every documentation is detailed and whatever i teach uh, uh, along with like script and everything is available here so you can just go through it and you can learn it okay okay so team uh, what i want to show you first of all let me clear this screen yeah let me delete this yeah okay so first of all what i want i want to show you is how we can send emails through a python script by automating that okay how we can do that so for that i have this script and let me explain you how exactly it is working okay so first of all what we are doing is importing a library uh, in mod, uh, python which is known as smtp library okay so since you know like uh, for sending email uh, email notifications or emails we use smtp servers right so to make sure that we are able to use that in our python uh, script we need to uh, download or we need to install smtp library so once you have installed it then you, you need to do one more thing which is to like get the uh, this uh, mime text this is going to be the content for our uh, like email and let me show you what exactly i am doing afterward first thing we need to define our smtp server so if you want to send gmail notifications you need to provide the smtp server url so for gmail but default one is smtp.gmail.com okay then for port so for we are going to use tls and for tls the default port is 587 in case we were using like uh, ssl for that we need to define the port as 465 but as you can see we are using tls so by default the port for uh, tls is uh, 587 okay then here as you can see i have defined sender email and receiver email so just for testing purpose i have defined both of them same uh, okay next is a uh, mail i am like uh, content of the message what we want to send hello this is an automated message simply okay and then we are uh, creating subject from and to these things and for that we need to use mime text which we have already imported here in the second line right okay let me explain you what we are doing first of all or the variable which we have created for message so we are calling it here then we are using a we are creating a subject also so i have just written automated email then we are defining the sender email and receiver email which we have like uh, created the variable above right next up next up like once these thing these are the things that are going to be used for sending the email okay but before doing that we need to make sure that we have created the proper connection okay so connection to smtp server smtp server is smtp.gmail.com which we have defined above right here so we need to establish a connection with that 
how we are doing that we are going to write this small piece of code where we are using this function start tls okay and here we are we are using the variables uh, smtp server and port smtp server smtp.gmail.com port is 587 because we are using tls right and here we are starting the server next login to gmail account okay so here this becomes a little bit tricky let me explain you how uh, we will do that so here two things we are you can see we are like if we, are, we are defining basically one second let me save this yeah first thing we are providing a password it is asking that we need to provide a password and trust me the this part was in password is not of your gmail basically it's a app password that gmail supports to create which i will show you in a minute so once we provide the password and the sender email then email will be sent okay okay so for that let me show you let me create a terminal right and let me run this program python abc click enter now here you see it is asking for gmail password okay and let me show you where exactly we can generate that so for that you need to go into manage google account on whichever like sender email email then you need to go on two step email verification click on that okay and then you need to log in basically let me log in so once we have logged in you can scroll down to the end and at the end you will see this option app passwords okay so click down add that on that and here let's provide any name i will just write py for python create so this will generate a password and this password is going this is a separate app password which is going to be used okay and this is not your gmail account password this is the app password so this password is specifically you supposed to be used when we want any third party applications to send email notifications for example when we are working with jenkins so from jenkins also we send notifications right so in that case also there there also we need to provide a password and this is the kind of password we put there and remember using this password nobody can log into your account but this is used for third party applications right so i have copied this and i will paste it here click enter and yeah so it is done now to check what we can do you can see 5 38 am which is right now and we received our email notification subject is same and message whatever we wrote right hello this is an automated uh, message again so uh, in this way we can like use python script to send automated message and don't worry a script will be available to you see i showed you a simple example but again uh, you can also customize it as per your requirement you can even schedule this uh, uh, task so that it runs uh, it runs only as per the requirement okay so so many things can be done right okay so next let me show you some file management skills uh, how we can create uh, python scripts to automate some file management things okay so next up team we have this uh, renaming script so what it does basically it will find specific uh, like files or folders with specific name and it will be uh, not folders just files okay so it will find specific files with uh, like uh, special characters or special name which i will define here and if it is able to find those it will replace their name or like rename them okay so let me show you how exactly it is being done first of all we need to use os mod uh, os library okay so one one error which you might face on regular basis is that that specific uh, library may not be available and this is the error you might face like uh, some like it will you, uh, you will see the error that no module found named pan, uh, like os or pandas or whichever right so in case os module is not installed on your system you might see the error no module named os found okay in that case what we need to do we need to run a command like pip install os okay here and in here as soon as you run it it will install the module and this pack uh, all the packages from inside this uh, module or library will be available for usage okay let me explain you what exactly we are i am doing now first of all importing the library then defining the directory from where i want to search for different files right then i am running a for loop which will go through each and every file finding if it is uh, the condition i'm defining here first condition i have defined that it should be ending with txt format right extension is dot txt which you can see here 
second what i am doing here ki as soon as i am find a, a file which is of txt format then new file name it is changing uh, how it is uh, it will change so it will uh, like see the naming convention okay so if it finds old underscore in name it will replace that with new underscore okay mm, that is what it uh, happening okay so let me show you for example on the left side you can see there are two files old underscore one dot txt old underscore two dot txt so if i run this script automatically these two uh, files name will be changed let me show you and you can see the name has been changed to new underscore one dot txt new underscore two dot txt so in this way uh, we can use the python script to uh, rename also okay. another thing which i want to show you is this one so basically what it does like uh, yeah for example like uh, you have so many old files also and you want that uh, files before let's say ki 10th of october should be deleted okay so that also we can do for that what i am doing os os library then second date time library or date time module i am using then defining the directory path from where i want to do the search and then defining the threshold date this is a variable i'm creating and here uh, i am using the date time uh, date time function using this module date i have defined here like 1st october uh, 2023 so files older than 1st october 2023 will be removed okay for that what i'm running i'm running a for loop and there uh, i'm like uh, writing this is like simple uh, script okay some things may seem little bit different because of like there are so many different functions you are being used okay get uh, get get am time then times time these kind of the functions we are using but all these things are already available inside date time module and os module so i'm just facing them from there okay so yeah this is what happening like we will uh, the pro the program will go through all the files and see which file is older than uh, 1st october 2023 if it is older than that then what we are doing is removing we are using a remove uh, function to remove the file so let me okay it, it may not work now because i don't have so much file to older than specific time and i don't want to remove these files okay okay but yeah uh, i have tested it on like uh, ubuntu machine i was just working with different thing so it will work fine no issue with that you just need to make sure that you have date time module and os module installed on your system if it is installed then it this uh, script will work fine okay so moving to next trip uh, next script okay so team uh, next up i have a script that is used for web scrapping when i say web scrapping that means basically a program that will be uh, working in order to scrap several kind of things from a website for example the the program that i have written here it is used to scrap links or urls from a website so for example let's say we are working with netflix website okay and there are so many different urls embedded in the site itself so we cannot see it directly but if we run this program and provide the url of that website it can find out what are different urls or links are embedded inside it using this format href you know like when we have written the source code for like a html then we defined links using href right yeah so in this request what i'm going to do is get the url of netflix and i will copy the url go back here and paste the total url okay right now if i run the program so it will find it will be able to find out what are the different links embedded in the uh, web, uh, netflix url so i have just uh, executed the program and you can see these are the different urls that have been uh, embedded using this href link okay you can see so many things legal notices media netflix your account help so and so okay so this is very useful in case of like uh, people who want to get different uh, kind of details from a website okay so yeah web scrapping is this is what we can do with web scrapping okay now let me show you what other things that i can do uh, with uh, uh, like for automating a uh, through python script okay team so next up we have a task scheduling script 
so using this we can basically create a function or program which we can run on specific intervals of time this can be done through cron tab also but like using auto automation uh, through python we can as do as well okay so let me just walk you through the program so here two modules we are using schedule and time uh, in case you find some error that a module not found just run the uh, uh, run the command pip install schedule okay and it will install so here i have defined like created symbol uh, simple function in python uh, named job which is basically just printing a this is scheduled task okay so uh, what we can do here you can see scheduled task to run every day at 2 pm right so what i'm going to do is basically is change the time to now is 5:50 let me change it to 5:51 and let me execute it so as soon as it the time hits 551 it will it will execute this uh, function and it will print the result this is the schedule task okay so this in this format like we can basically uh, do like schedule a task and using auto, auto, uh, automation through python scripts so let's wait for it to hit 551 also team if you haven't subscribed you can subscribe all the documentation which i teach here is available in my github account and yeah it's completely free so you can just access it okay yeah as soon as you can see as soon as it hit 551 the uh, function that we created it got executed next execution will happen next day 551 okay and here if you notice that this program has not exited why because we are running it for infinite time okay we are running it through you can we you can read you can see we have written while true that means this is going to be always true this condition and so it will keep running okay so this is a way you can basically schedule a task for specific intervals of time right so this is also like in case you don't want to use cron tab you can go with this this is also a good option right okay let me yeah so let me show you uh, another program which is going to be the last for this tutorial which is going to be shut down so this is an os module that i'm using and here what i'm doing basically shut, shutting down my windows machine how i can do that is by calling a system function through os module os dot system and yeah so let me explain you what exactly is happening through this command shutdown is a basically a pre -def a like default uh, name which is used for uh, like shutting down okay and slash as as it means we are initiating the shutdown system okay slash t space zero so basically we are defining the time like after which we want to shut down so slash t is that when i have written zero that means uh, there is no delay needed okay right now it should be shut down but as you know i cannot execute this because as soon as i execute this my laptop system will be shut down so yeah this will be all for today and i hope this video was useful for you if it was then give it a like and yeah thanks for watching and have a nice day